So I'm here with Paul Salou at Little Leaf Farms and we just took an incredible tour of the greenhouse and let me tell you it's anything but little. But I want to hear from you Paul, what is Little Leaf Farms all about? Well first off thank you for coming to visit. Uh, I'm glad we had a chance to show you our facility, we're very proud of it. Uh, and basically we say we exist to transform the way food is grown. We are really a big proponent of sort of this evolution that we're seeing in our food systems right now around more localized production. And our view of, of that means sort of state-of-the-art, high technology so that we can be a secure supplier to our customers of the best, uh, absolute highest quality leafy greens. And so we're located here in New England, which is where Little Leaf is. Talk a little bit about your target customer, because you've talked a bit about disrupting sort of the supply from California, where most of these leafy greens come from. Talk about how you think about them, how you've built the business around solving that specific issue. I mean, we're really a branded food company. Uh, we use state-of-the-art technology, but the way we think about our business is we're a branded food company. So this package right here is the number one selling packaged leafy green in New England, I think number two in the Northeast. So we're basically competing primarily against the West Coast field producers. So they're the people who dominate the business right now. So, and the way we have won is quality. So this whole notion of realizing localized production and giving a fresher, better tasting food experience to the, to the consumer is really what it's all about. So let's talk a bit about your tech. You mentioned tech and a couple times on the tour, you've called yourself an integrator. What are the key technologies you're integrating here at this facility? Well, it's a high-tech facility, which I think you, you can agree with after the Absolutely, tour. And yeah. we're, we have thousands of sensors. We're collecting all kinds of data. But for us, technology is a tool. We're a branded food company. So that's the way we think about our business. And by doing that and having a cost of production that allows us to compete against the existing market prices, we use, we think, the best technology in the world. We have a series of technology partner vendors that we work with. We work really closely with them. And our job really as the owner of the facility and designer is to integrate these technologies so that we end up getting the yields and the quality that we're, that we're getting here. Can you give us any specifics so help the audience understand a little bit? We saw artificial lighting in there. We saw uh, mobile gully systems that moved the plants towards the harvest area. Anything else? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're a believer in nutrient film uh, as, a, as, a, as a way and mobile gutters mm -hmm. is a proven way of doing that. But that's one component of it, right? That's the mechanical side of our system. But the water technical side, the sensors, the data collection, the lighting, the way we measure, the way we, as you mentioned, we have supplemental lighting for cloudy days. Uh, we all integrate that into a system that has to result in the highest quality, best tasting leafy green, which is what we want to deliver to our, to our consumer. Yeah, incredible. And so what are some of the things you um, lose sleep over? What are, what are your, you know, thinking about your business, you're doing so well, you've expanded. But what are some things you worry about for the future? Um, it's really all about people. Uh, Technology is really important. We talked about that, but you know the hardworking people I work with. Um, we operate, as we told you, 365 days a year, two shifts a day, and I'm just really grateful to work with the hardworking, dedicated folks that make Little Leaf Farms the success that that it is right there. So if there's anything as CEO of the organization is making sure that we continue to attract and retain the very best people. Um, Paul, what is Little Leaf doing to accelerate sustainability? Thanks for that question. That's near and dear to my heart. So we capture all the rainwater. That's our primary source of irrigation. We're pesticide free. Uh, we have no harmful chemicals that would ever come in touch with our, our lettuce. We're connected to a solar field. So we're many times we're operating this facility completely on renewable energy. Amazing. We also focus on uh, post-consumer recycled PET. So our package is 100% made from recycled plastic, and that's a big issue right now around single-use plastic. And it's an ongoing challenge and effort, and we have a sustainability committee here at Little Leaf, and it's something that we're gonna to continue to investigate and invest. Excellent, it's great to see CEA being you know, grown and managed on 100% renewable power, because you don't see that very often with the vertical farms. So Paul, tell us a little bit more about where people can find your product. So we're primarily retail grocery. We've got great distribution in all the major grocers here in the Northeast. Food service is active and growing. Schools, colleges, universities. And we also now are in e-commerce. So Amazon, Instacart, we're growing really rapidly there. Where I think our rating in Amazon is 4.9 out of 5. So we're, we're proud about that. And what's next for Little Leaf? Give us a preview of what's coming up. 
we're grateful for the you know our success and 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 the confidence that our customers have put in us by buying our products so we're going to continue to grow we think cea is at the beginning still the, the west coast guys really dominate the marketplace um, we've been able to successfully compete against them so we're taking our learnings we're continuing to invest in we think ultimately getting to a cost of production and maintaining quality so that we can be a low cost producer here on the East Coast, that's where this is going. Very exciting. Well, thank you so much, Paul, for you and your time and your team and showing us around and this extensive tour, really high tech, and we're gonna taste the product in a moment. Great, thank you, Henry.